<laughs> what is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. And today, come back to bed, KZ. We rocking with Superview from now on. We're gonna try and win a battle on Clash Royale. Wow, my Siberian Husky's pulling me. This might be really dangerous or really successful. Oh my gosh, I already lost. Worst possible thing that can happen, there being a crack and me dying. So far, so good. We're not losing that hard. Wow. Let me hit him with a wow. I'll show you guys all the clan stats right now. I think we have like two available spots. Go! We got one tower, boom, shakalaka. Okay, okay, this car. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> God damn it, he fucked me up. We still getting the trophies though. Oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. This is not good. This is not good at all. Damn it! That fucking car fucked me up. We lost. That was pretty bad. I did almost get ran over. I'm gonna blame that guy. Here's my clan. Let's go to my clan. We have two available spots. Now you need to have 3,800 trophies or more if you guys are looking to join this clan. There I am, I'm leader. Okay, no brakes. I apparently have no brakes. Turned around for one second and the battle was freaking over. I got three crowned. We're going in for round two. Now that crypto is more calm, hopefully this dude doesn't realize that I'm distracted. Okay, he put the giant down. Oh yeah. Do that U-turn, baby boy. Oh, wow. That was a pretty good counter push. Got him. Okay, I was distracted, god damn it. If you guys don't know what this game's about, this is Clash Royale. Oh, wow. Let me hit him with the wow. This came after Clash of Clans. If you guys are wondering how I'm clan leader, I was actually in a clan where the previous leader was inactive. A couple other co-leaders were inactive. So then the clan was talking about switching over to a new clan, right? So we could have more active members. I was the first one to leave the old clan to join the new clan. Come on, come on. My username on this is the penetrator. Here's my stats if you guys are interested. Let's go this way, let's go this way. Let me know if you guys enjoy the super view. Footage I looked over, it looked awesome. Every time I looked slightly down, you could see the skateboard. That's how damn wide the angle is. Oh, I try to play Clash Royale, but I think I need to concentrate more. It's always those little second reactions where I just get dominated by. We got fruity ass Milo on his fruity ass harness. Milo, watch out. Get out of the way, dude. Get your ass ran over. All right, go. Milo, Milo, slow down, Crypto, slow. Wow, just acting fruity. Wait. Get up. This is a really good reason why I don't bring Milo. He has no endurance. I don't even know if he knows his name at this point. I've actually never let him off leash. So let's go ahead and try and let him off. See how he does. Hopefully he follows us. Pretty sure he will. Oh wow, he's kicking like a donkey himself. If you guys have seen on my videos, Milo is by far the fruitiest dog you guys will ever meet. The fruitier, the better when it comes to Milo. Milo's my oldest dog. I don't even know how old he is. He's probably like 10 years old. He's a long fur chihuahua. Most of my dogs are gifted from aunts and uncles. So Milo is a gift. There was a bunch of chihuahuas and only one long haired, which was him. And I was just extremely attracted to him since the beginning. Huh, Milo? Huh, Milo? Get in frame. I just love the way he's always smiling. Since these dogs are so small, they like to take dumps everywhere. I don't know what it is, but he just likes shitting everywhere. It's really annoying. As you guys can tell, he can't keep up with crypto. Not only is he out of shape, but like I said, he's old. Smaller dogs seem to do really well off leash just because they're so unindependent. 
I've seen a bomb ass chick walking with like eight little small dogs. And I said, oh my gosh, I could be another one of those dogs, you know? <laughs> Look at the fruit on him. Come on, Milo. <laughs> He's gonna piss over Crypto's piss. He's such a bastard. He's so old. Just the way he walks seems so old. I don't know why he limps. He's been, he's limped for most of his life. Stop acting tired. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Mm, you're so fruity. He started limping at like one year old. I'm not sure why. He probably just got used to limping like an old school pimp. The question is, if I hop on the skateboard and Crypto pulls me full speed, will he run? This dog probably has the least respect out of all of my dogs. Nope, he's not running one bit. Look how fruity he looks, just walking. It looks like he's a strawberry tree. By far the cutest dog I've owned is my... <laughs> Look at his little face, he's so tired. <laughs> Milo, Milo. So come on, let's carry him. He's so fat, I'm pretty sure for his size. He's overweight um, times two. I know Milo is probably the most left out dog out of all my dogs in my videos. That's just because of his age. I don't want anything to happen to him. It's probably like 70 degrees, I don't know. Part of Cali that I'm from, it doesn't really get too hot. This city is known to have really good weather. Doesn't get extremely hot in summer or it doesn't get extremely cold in winter. The coldest it gets is probably like 56. Go! God damn it. What's his name? He's not friendly? Yo, I barrel rolled like some transformer type shit though. I saved his life, that's a fact. That didn't hurt that bad. I think that's like the third fall I've taken on the skateboard. <laughs> I'm gonna put this dog down, he's freaking heavy. Oh. So nothing really too bad. Oh, okay, a little blood there. Little scratch on my elbow, but nothing serious. I landed on my back, which is good. I have no idea how I did that. Like my instinct just freaking barrel rolled or something. I'll recover. Now to go home and freaking shower. <laughs> Why are you acting so fruity still? Did you not see me just save your life? <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. I like how everything happened and Milo was still just chilling on my freaking hand. I told you guys if something was to happen, I would just transformer barrel roll and save his life and just keep him in existence. Okay, I'm really exhausted. Oh my gosh. She walks like a duck. Okay, I'm exhausted. We gotta go home, Don. Every time I bring him, he just makes me carry him. Okay. I gotta switch hands with this fat ass. You're running. You're fucking running. Watch out, dog. He's not even trying. That fall probably sounded really freaking painful. Left elbow is starting to kind of sting. Crypto's about to howl. Pelotero. Are you serious? Go home, Crypto, go home. Well, guys, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna shower. Put some purple stuff on. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. This sounded beautiful. Now, there are people asking about my car. The car I drive is a 2007 Nissan 350Z. Only things I've done to it is I bought a catback system. I deleted the muffler. That's why it's so loud. It also has spacers on the wheels. Now I do have some car footage. So let me know if you guys are interested in car footage. And I can always go to new car meets and just record new footage. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like some car footage.
Feel free to follow my Instagram and Snapchat at KZE underscore production.